Throughout our history, we've looked to birds as messengers. They tell us when seasons are changing. They tell us stories that help us understand our own. And they welcome every morning with their beautiful songs. Now they have an urgent message about our changing world. Scientists from the National Audubon Society have analyzed the observations of thousands of bird watchers and information from leading climate scientists. And they've reached a clear conclusion. Birds are on the move in response to global warming. Gary Langham, chief scientist at Audubon, says the message is stark and clear. It's an urgent message. Nearly half of the bird species in the United States and Canada are seriously threatened by climate change. And if nothing is done to abate this threat, many of the bird species we love could disappear forever. Every bird species is uniquely adapted to its surroundings, including temperature, precipitation, and changing seasons. But when rising greenhouse gases change the climate, the conditions on which birds depend are thrown into disarray. Birds will find themselves displaced from their homes. Many of the birds that will be threatened include some of our most familiar and beloved species, the bald eagle, the brown pelican, the burrowing owl, the common loon, the Baltimore oriole, and the Allen's hummingbird. The survival of these birds is in question. Being a bird is really hard. Each bird species is finely tuned to a set of environmental conditions so that everything about its physiology, its behavior, and its genetics allows it to be successful in that environment. But when those fundamentals of the environment begin to shift, it can be a catastrophe for birds like the Allen's hummingbird. Today, it breeds along the Pacific coast in California and Oregon. If global warming intensifies, however, its range will shrink dramatically by the year 2050, and even more drastically by 2080, when 93% of its breeding range could be gone. The birds may be forced to look for habitat in unfamiliar places far from the coast, where they will face new competition for limited food and resources. And they might find new predators or fierce competitors that make it impossible to survive in new locations. It's a serious message that we've been given, from birds and from science. But there are also answers on how we can help. The broader question is, what can we do about it? The Audubon Report tells us two things that we need to do right now. The first is to reduce carbon pollution that causes global warming. And the second is to protect those places that the birds need today and will need in the future. We know that when we give nature half a chance, it is resilient. We know which birds to focus on and where they need our help. There is a role for all of us to play in making sure the worst effects of global warming don't come to pass. The important thing is to take action. There's something everyone can do in their individual lives and in their communities to make it a better place for birds and for people. Join us at audubon.org climate to learn more and take action today.